Hi, I've expanded the workshop. I now have two and a half times as much space as I did before, and now I'm trying to get everything working again. Um, the first job, because I need to use the milling machine, is to make a new stand for it. Uh, it's currently sitting on the old workbench, which is now sticking out into the useful area of the workshop. And so I want to put it on this back wall over here. It's very deep. You need about 90 centimeters in total from the back of the motor to the uh, hand wheel at the front. Um, but the actual base of the machine is quite small, um, only say uh, 30 by 40 centimeters. So uh, I'm going to make a bench that I can screw into the floor, just a small one with a bit of storage for the rotary table and the vise. So those are the things that I need to swap over quite regularly. Okay, so here it is in SketchUp. It's a very simple design. All of the frame is just made out of CLS timber, which is 38 millimeters by 89 millimeters. The overall height from the floor to the top of the work surface is 95 centimeters. The top itself is an old butcher block that the mill machine is currently sitting on. It's currently in a, in a 45 degree angle. And so uh, these holes will already be there in a different pattern. And so it's not gonna look as tidy as this. This large hole is for the column of the Dorr Westbury milling machine that as you change the height, it descends into uh, the, the cabinet that it's sitting on. And so that hole um, is a key component. Um, I'm gonna paint it black. Uh, these shelves here should be covered with some 18 millimeter ply and uh, I've not included it in the diagram because I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm going to use some offcuts of ply from a future project. Um, but this top shelf here is for the rotary table with its three jaw chuck mounted on it. And I interchange that very regularly with the machine vise and so the machine vise will fit on this uh, shelf here.
Perfect.